Dropbox business tutorial. Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to be telling you how you can use Dropbox business. So without wasting any more of your time, let's just jump into the video. So the first thing that I want you guys to do is come over to dropbox.com slash business and come over to their main website. You can either type this in or you can just simply search on Google Dropbox business and then just simply click on the first link that you find and it will take you to this website. Now over here, you just simply have to sign up. So you can sign up by clicking on the get started button over here or you can just start your free trial over here. So let me just click on start your free trial and you can cancel this trial anytime you want. So basically, when you come over here, you will have a few different plans. So you have the professional plans, the professional plus e-sign, the standard and the advanced. Now you can try the professional plan for free and you can try the standard and advanced plan for free as well. But you can try the professional plus e-sign. Now, if you choose the professional plan, you're going to get a three terabyte storage and you're going to get up to three legal binding e-signature requests within Dropbox and you can get access anytime and anywhere and you will also have a version history and file recovery for up to 180 days and you have dropbox rewind available for you 180 days and you have all these other features as well and you can also send up to 100 gigabyte per transfer including customization options as well and you also have file logging dropbox badges you also have viewer history you have commenting you have integrated cloud content as well and you have dropbox paper so let's just go ahead and try this for free now I'm going to choose the standard version because I'm not going to use this business because I don't typically use Dropbox. I'm just simply going to choose the standard version because I don't want to pay for more. But that is not the issue because you can cancel anytime you want. So I'm going to click on try for free now and it is going to redirect me over to this page over here. So over here, all I have to do is simply sign up and you can either enter in your basic information or you can just simply click on sign up with Google which I think is pretty amazing. So if you choose sign up with Google, you won't have to manually enter all in all your details, such as your first name, your last name, basically signing up with Google or any option that you have over here will be a lot quicker and it will save you a lot of time. So I'm going to go ahead and sign up and I will see you guys in a little bit. So once you have signed up, this is how your website is going to look like. And over here, all you have to do is enter in your country and then choose the plan and then just simply agree to their terms and conditions. So I'm going to check this box and click on start free trial and no credit card is needed at all. So you don't need to enter in all your credit card details. Basically, when your trial ends, they are going to ask you for your information. And if you want, you can enter in your information or you can just simply cancel your subscription. So after you've done that, they're going to ask you to give your team a name. Simply enter in the name of your team. And once you have entered in your name, simply click on next. And once you have done that, they're going to ask you what type of work do you mostly do accounting or finance art design computer software engineering education executive freelance healthcare legal marketing project slash program management so i'm going to choose project slash program management and they are going to ask me to start by downloading the dropbox so go ahead and download the dropbox by clicking on this all button over here and wait for it to load up and then just simply download your program and once it's downloaded, just simply install your program, click on yes, wait for its program to be installed. So once you have Dropbox installed on your computer, they are going to ask you how do you want to store your files. So you can let yourself be the admin and choose the option. So let my admin manage this setting. So basically you're letting Dropbox manage this setting or you can uncheck this box, choose your own option. Basically, if you want to keep all of your files on your hard drive, you can choose this option. But if you want to store all your files online, just select the online option and then simply click on next. Then you're all done and Dropbox installed. Now you can check out the advanced settings if you want. So let me just go ahead and go over them. So over here, basically you're choosing where your Dropbox location is and it, where it will be installed and where it will keep files if you want to save them offline. And then you can also select the sync option over here and you can change the settings of it as well. So I'm going to click on next and once it's done this is how it will look like so over here want to keep your pc backed up so it is going to ask you to set up your backup but if you want to you can go ahead and choose the folder that you want to be backed up or you can add more folders but if you don't want to you can just simply click on not now i don't want to back up right now so i'm just simply going to choose not now 
now this is how it will basically be look like let me maximize the screen over here so this is how it looks like this is going to be your dashboard so over here you can just simply add in your content you can create different folders by right clicking over here on the empty screen and clicking on right so you can create a new folder or you can create a dropbox paper paper template shortcuts google docs or spreadsheets or google slides or whatever you want to create or you can just simply click on the add button over here and then you can just simply add all those files over here as well so click over here to describe the folder and turn it into a space so if you, if you want to know how you can do that just simply click on show example so over here is going to be a lead a team so you can lead a team and this is how it's going to be look like so this folder holds your team directory and weekly meeting notes so you can add in your team you can add in the lead the design the engineers and you can add a specific person and tell them to do stuff or do some certain tasks and you can basically get organized and then you have track a project as well so basically you can add a project and you can tag people to give them a specific task or get an update on that specific task and then you can organize files as well so you can just simply create a new folders and organize by locations and add and tag people as well as i said before and give them specific tasks as well so over here on the left side you can see we have a couple of different options so this is going to be your profile over here this is going to be your personal dropbox account so over here as you can see these are some of the files that i have uploaded me on my personal drive and then down below you have start basically over here you're going to be storing some of your favorite profiles that you'd want to keep track of basically if you uploaded specific files and those files or pictures or videos or whatever it is is close to your heart or you like them you can just star them and they will appear over here and then down below you have the application center so if you click on it it is going to redirect you over to the google page where you can add in different applications as integration so we have all these different apps so we have the picket we have the integromat we have the greenhouse engine os then down below we have zoom slack Pay trello and we have dropbox for g suite microsoft adobe microsoft office adobe acrobat nitro uh, we have vimeo we have canva we have clipchamp so over here this was your company or agency dropbox and over here you can invite your team members simply click on invite so over here just simply enter in all the email address of your team and then send them a message optional which is optional if you want to give them a heads up and then just simply click on invite so i'm going to go ahead and invite my other account and see how it looks and click on invite member and as you can see it's sending the invite and the invite has been sent now if i check my email address the invite is going to be there and i'm and if i accept it i'm going to be added over here so i'm going to go ahead and do that so i have accepted my invite over onto my other email and it's going to load up over here and i should appear over here so while that happens it's uh, for some reason dropbox is really slow slow right now for me i don't know if it's the internet connection or just the application doing its own thing but let me just move on and create a folder over here so this is going to be the folder so when you create a folder if you save this item over here at continuum all the people that have been added into your company can save them so if you save a folder over here in continuum anyone who is added into this account or anyone who is added into continuum will have access to it otherwise you can save them to your member folder and only you can have access to them so save it to team space so everyone can see this folder over here in my team so if i open over here so over here these are going to be the new folder this is going to be the new paper doc this is the new paper template the new shortcut the google spreadsheet so we can add all these different things so i'm going to go ahead and add the new paper doc so it's creating that file for me so this is the paper doc that has been created so i can open it over here or send with dropbox transfer or microsoft teams so i'm going to go ahead and open this page so this is how it basically looks like so over here i can capture all these moments that i want i can save some stuff as well so close it up so i'm gonna do this over here and i can also add someone as well if i have someone over here so i can also add someone as well who are added to my team or into my contact list and stuff like that and you can also create a new paper doc by clicking on this button over here so this is pretty basic stuff guys basically you can insert images you can insert media you can insert dropbox files insert table you can even insert timeline a calendar 
to-do list, a bullet list, or in toggle number, or a section break, or you can also toggle code block as well. And then once you have done that, you can just simply save it or share it, and you can just simply close it up, and it will be saved over here. So from a business standpoint, I think Dropbox Business is pretty cool, and you can do pretty cool stuff with it, and, and be pretty organized as well. So that is it for this video guys if you did enjoy this video please make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe to our channel and turn on post notification guys and if you have any questions please let me know in the comment sections down below and i will be sure to answer them as soon as possible so having said that i will see you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye